You'll need a place to set your drinks, your little miniature drinks for your game, your little people. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Black Magic Craft. Every good tavern needs some tables. I, I know, last episode, and I think also the one before it, I said that you don't need to set up things like taverns with 3D terrain on your table and that you can just theater of the mind roleplay it. And that is true. However, sometimes you want to set up the tavern because it's going to get raided by zombie goblins. I mean, that's a thing that happens all the time. It's normal. So you may need to set up a tavern once in a while, and that tavern is going to need some tables. In fact, it's going to need a whole bunch of things. Tables, bookcases, bar, whole bunch of stuff. This episode is the first episode in a series of items to decorate your tavern. And of course, these items can be used in all sorts of different scenarios in dungeons and whatever. I mean, tables are an incredibly useful bit of terrain. Every dungeon has some tables. They also can double as little like goblin barricades for people to stand behind. I mean, they're super useful. So in the first episode of this series, I'm gonna start with tables. And just so you know how I landed on this series and why I'm doing it, it's actually to celebrate and thank my Patreon supporters. A while ago when I started the page, I set out a certain monthly goal that would help me to buy a new computer for editing these videos. And lo and behold, thanks to everyone's generosity, I was able to meet and exceed that goal. As a thank you, as promised, I'm going to be giving away some terrain that I built myself to one random Patreon supporter. I wasn't sure what to build for this reward, so I used the awesome democratic tool, which is the Patreon community, and I left it up to those folks to vote. I for sure thought they were gonna choose a 3D building. What actually won out was a tavern set. I am going to be building a set or a tavern with some tables, bookcases, and a bar. And at the end of this series, once it's all complete, I'm gonna pack it up and I'm gonna send it to one of my Patreon supporters. And nobody, including myself, is gonna find out who that lucky person is until this entire series is complete because I am going to draw that name at the end. But it's gonna be the next few episodes, so you shouldn't be waiting too long. Let's make some tables. I've mentioned this in the past, XPS foam actually has a grain to it and drawing wood grain on the foam actually works a lot better when you draw with the grain rather than across it. So when you're milling up small pieces like this, it's important to consider which way that grain is running when planning out your cuts. When I was making these, I decided not to do these in separate pieces with tabletops and table legs, although that would look really good and that's a way that I'm building a set for myself. Since I'm gonna be giving this set away I wanted to make sure that they were super, super durable. And the best way to do that was to actually carve these out of one single piece so that there isn't a weak glue joint involved whatsoever. Now, normally when I do line work on foam, I'll first score it with a knife and then follow through with a pen. But because these pieces are so small, I do not want to sacrifice any strength with a blade cut so i'm opting to just carve all the wood planks with a pencil indentation and then i'm using a mechanical pencil to actually draw in the individual wood grains the really thin mechanical pencil lead lets you draw really nice detailed wood grain lines that create a really nice exaggerated wood grain look I also wanted one head table that was a little bit bigger and a little bit more embellished. So I made one that was longer and I used some very small strips of construction paper to act as iron banding. And I used the point of a pen to make some indentations to represent rivets. And to attach them to the foam, I just used a little bit of Eileen's tacky glue with a paintbrush. You could use regular PVA, but the tacky glue holds it in place faster. And to make these pieces more durable, especially because they're small, I used my regular method of Mod Podge mixed with black paint. And as you can see, the Mod Podge does not decrease the fine detail whatsoever. 
I wanted the wood on these to have a newer look, so I started out with a nice light golden brown as my base color. And to add some natural variation, I took some burnt sienna and mixed it into that golden brown and did some light streaking across all the wood planks. I then did a light dry brushing with a tan just to weather the wood a little bit and then a very, very light dry brushing with an off-white just to highlight the very highest edges. And for the iron banding, I decided not to use metallic craft paints and instead use my Reaper miniature paints. I find that on very small little metallic pieces like this, the thinner miniature paints work just a bit better, but you can definitely use the craft paint in a pinch. To complete the pieces, I actually mixed up a special batch of wash that wasn't a pure black, but was actually a very, very, very dark brown. With the wash in place, you can really see how nice that wood grain carving looks. And for one added layer of protection, I finished the pieces off with a nice liberal coating of Minwax fast drying polyurethane. And there you have it, a very simple build that will quickly decorate your tavern. I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, hit that like button, drop me a comment below. Consider heading on over to Patreon and joining the Black Magic Craft Fellowship. The support there goes a long way to keeping this channel afloat and going strong. Also, if you need any of the tools and supplies that I use in these builds, head over to blackmagiccraft.ca. There you can find my essential equipment store and you can purchase all of the stuff that I use and recommend. And in the process, give me a small commission with those affiliate links, another great way to support the channel. And if you are not already a member of the Tabletop Crafters Guild on Facebook, formerly called DM Scotty's Crafts and Games, head on over, the link is in the description. It is a fantastic community and we would love to have you as the newest member. Until next week guys, cheers and happy crafting.